Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today, word of encouragement is, God says, stop sinning. Start over with me. The correct way. We have to start over with God. You know, some things that we have done in our past, we want to repent and leave it in God's hands. We don't want to start over and still have the same thing that we repent from. When you start over, you start fresh, you start brand new. You don't want the old to become the new. So it's very important that we confess everything that we have done. Whatever you did, whatever, I mean, nasty word, nasty things that you have done, leave it at the altar, leave it in God's hands, and just let it go. In 1 John 1 and 9, it reads, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to clean us from all our righteousness. God will clean us from everything in us that don't belong in us. We got to make sure that we praise in God through everything. It's very important that we pray, that we worship, that we spend time with God because, you know, even though after God saved you from sin, the devil will still tempt you into doing temptations, doing things out of the will of God. We have to be strong enough to just say, no, I'm not having sex with you. I'm not doing anything out of the will of God, you know, because I don't want nothing to, you know, mess up my relationship with him. So when God gives you an opportunity to confess or to turn, you know, a situation around, do it. If God giving you an opportunity to be a better person, do it. And just be honest with people. Tell people, look, I don't have time to play. You know, I love God enough. I don't want to lose my life. I don't want to die because I'm sinning. I'm doing things out of the Lord's will. We have time to correct ourselves right now. Whatever we're not doing in the sight of God, we have an opportunity to get up and say, God, I repent. Right now is the time. Don't wait till Jesus come back and say, God, I repent. God going to look at you like, what? <laughs> you had all the time. But we're so busy on TV. We're so busy playing games. We're so busy watching movies. We're so busy going outside, playing double dutch and all this stuff. And just, you know, smoking, having sex and all this stuff. And God giving us time. I want you to understand, the time is going fast, which means God is catching up to you. He is catching up to you. So I want you to know that God is catching up to us. So we got to do everything in the will of God. So please, we need to repent. We need to turn away from sin. And we need to let go of whatever is holding on to us and let it go. Because at the end of the day, if you do not give God your whole heart, your whole mind, your whole soul, you're going to be lost. People can preach to you all day. People preaching to you all day and it's just going straight to your body, which means you are lost and you need to be found. God is trying to find you through the word. He can find you through his word. Everything that we're going through, I promise y'all, everything that I went through, everything that you're going through, everything your mother, your father went through is in the Bible. Somebody, listen, somebody going through David's season. Somebody going through Hannah's season. Can't have a child. Somebody going through David's season. Just murder somebody. Did something out of the sight of God. Somebody around you is going through something in the Bible. And I'm going to tell y'all something. You got to know that your sin can be forgiven. You Listen, you done slept with a married woman, a married man. God can still forgive you. It doesn't matter what your sin is. God can forgive every sin that you did. Let me tell you something. God can forgive you. We need to learn how to let God take care of everything. Let God will be done in our life. Let God fix us. Let God fix every sin that we are in. Today is our day. The Lord can forgive us. God can just wipe away everything from us. When we just say, Lord, I repent. Repent, confess your sins to God, and give it to him. Let it go, and let God do whatever he needs to do in you. Because I'm going to tell y'all, some of y'all can't move forward because you got sin. You got to stop sinning. You got to stop doing wrong. Stop doing things out the sight of God. Start over. Start over with him. The correct way. 
I repent, Lord, I'm sorry. And once you tell God you're sorry, do not go back into that sin. Whatever you got delivered from, don't go back into it because you stirring up more mess. I done got rid of this sin, but then I'm going back into the temptation that I got rid of. I'm going back into the situation that I got delivered from. The person could have killed you, gave you something that you thought that you couldn't get rid of. That's why you got to stop sinning. When you in sin, you can catch things, diseases, all this stuff creeping up on you because you want to be slick. You want to be slick with God. And God know what you're doing. So I just want to say, you know, change your ways. Allow God to do whatever he needs to do in you. And just, just change. Change now. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait until next week. Confess right now and say, God, I'm sorry. I ask, Father, that you give me a new start in you. I repent of everything that I did to offend you. Father, give me a new start in you. Help me to obey you, and he will. So thank you for watching. God bless you. Be encouraged. Don't give up, but pray about all things. Have a blessed, beautiful day. Bye.